the Thai-Cambodia border, beneath the forest canopy, a vital mission is in full swing. Neurologist Tony Leinen is leading the first real scientific attempt to establish the density and distribution of Thailand's tiger population. The technique is innovative. Special cameras are fixed to trees for a month on likely tiger runs. Whenever anything breaks an infrared beam, the camera clicks. The results are breathtaking. These tigers were snapped in southern Thailand near the Malaysian border earlier this year. But after surveying four extensive Thai jungles, the WCS has only found six individuals. Yet Thailand is at the centre of the tiger's global range and in theory should have the densest population. From our surveys over the last two years, we've found that there are fewer tigers than we'd ever thought were out in those forests. And that's an alarm bell for us. What it means is that tigers are really on their way out and unless some action is taken to protect tigers in the future, they may disappear from Thailand. Just over the border in Cambodia, the Phuket market provides depressing evidence of the tiger's plight, proof that they're falling prey to hunters' guns and traps. The WCS wants anti-hunting laws enforced and it wants areas like this set aside for tiger conservation.